Hello guys, welcome to sendcrypto.com YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. What I want to speak about in this video is security and backing up your funds with sendcrypto.com and why our wallet is secure, why our wallet is different than any other wallets and what is the different methodologies and security system that we are using that other projects are not. So first of all, what we are using is a 3FA, three-factor authentication system along with an MPC type of technology which I will explain right now what it means. So in regard to the security of the coins, first of all, if you are in the custodial type of service in sendcrypto.com, all of the coins are being held in cold storages off net, means that there is no one have the access to it. We are working in cooperation with different type of companies which provide you a secure infrastructure in regarding to operational transactions, means that we know how to basically diversify the coins in multiple wallets under layers of securities from any type of threats of hacking or someone trying to tap into our network in regard to the operational funds, which they are going to be always under 15% from the total equity it means that most of the coins are always going to be off net in cold storages. This is one way that we are protecting the funds. The other way is that you're probably more concerned about is in regarding to your own wallet, how your wallet is being secured. And of course, how your wallet can be backed up in case that you lost your phone, your phone been destroyed, you forgot your password and all of those things, which as you know, in a non-custodial type of situation is very, very tricky with the 14 phrases. And we heard all of those stories about the guy that lost his ledger and throw a thousand Bitcoins, which worth billions and all of those stories. So why with sendcrypto.com it cannot happen? So this is how it's going to work. First of all, in setcrypto.com, your face is your key. Your biometrics are your keys. What we're doing is we give you the ability to have a liveness test scanning, which we are using a company that has a patent on scanning your biometrics for seven seconds, create the mapping that is being stored in your iCloud on your phone, which is being binded with your account. And then every time that you will need to restore or approve a transaction, in case that you chose to enable this feature, you will need to use your biometrics. Now, the way that we are using is not just regular type of biometrics that as we already know, you can put an image or something like that, it's recognized it and you can still use the device. In our case, it's a 3D in-depth type of scanning of your face, which use your biometrics means that you cannot use any type of a scanning or a 2D type of imaging to activate it. Other thing that you have is basically we give you Three ways of authentication of transactions it means that we are you, when you are conducting a transaction in Send Crypto, you can choose from none to some to a lot. What it means, you can either have your transaction being approved just by the fact that you chose to make a sending after you log into the app. This is the minimum security level, which we are of course not going to recommend to no one. Second way that you can do it, you can approve by a passcode, passcode that you chose and only you know basically like a pin code with your credit card when you're using it. Second option that you will have is to use a passcode along with an SMS or an email confirmation. So then you're getting your own passcode, your pin code, and then you're also getting an external from us, another pin code in order to match the transaction. Third part that you will have that this is the maximum security is that you will need to use a passcode, external verification, and biometrics, which Biometric is more secure than all the rest because as we know, there is phishing and there is all of these other ways of people taking your pins from the SMS or the emails. That's why we also give you the ability to immediately just enable the biometrics and then every transaction that will happen inside your ecosystem, inside your app, sendcrypto.com app, will be authenticated strictly by your biometrics. Now let's talk about backup. Let's say I lost my phone. Let's say I lost my passcode. Let's say I bought a new phone and I want to put my sendcrypto.com wallet in my new phone. In any other situations right now with the wallets, what you will need to do, if it's of course a real wallet that holds funds, you will basically have your 14 phrases and you will need to create some type of a recovery uh, procedure in order to have your wallet in your new phone. In sendcrypto, the only thing that you will need to do, is just download the sendcrypto.com app. If you store the original biometric file in your iCloud and you updated this iCloud into your new phone, we will already recognize that. And the only thing that you will need to do 
So just scan your face for the first time that you download the app, seven seconds. We will know how to match it with the biometric file that was already saved. We will know that it's you and only you. And immediately you will get access seamlessly to the SamCrypto.com app with all of your funds already inside, with all of your history, transactions. Nothing will be deleted. Everything is being saved for you, just like you left it in your old phone. Guys, that was it about security and backup. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you on the next one.